Welcome to Action Through Acting, presented by the Manatee Performing Arts Center. My name is Janine Amick, Executive Director. Action Through Acting is a wonderful new initiative that brings together community partners in live theater. On our first premiere edition today, we are joined in studio by wonderful guests. Starting at my far left, producing artistic director Rick Kirby of the Manatee Performing Arts Center. To his right, Ms. Jana Pierce, Director of Marketing and Development for Easter Seals, Southwest Florida. And to my left, the famous Tom Waters, President and CEO, Easter Seals, Southwest Florida. Rick, before we get into our main discussion, tell us about Action Through Acting. Well, I think we named it appropriately. Um, we got a, a piece handed to us, Bark the Musical, which had this wonderful collaboration kind of built into it with the Humane Society. Obviously, it's about dogs, so it was a perfect fit. And that was the first show that we chose for the new season, the 15-16. It takes us two years to pick out different shows that we put in each space going through the contracting process. So this was quite a ways out. And Janine and I thought, what a wonderful synergy, to borrow a word that we were talking earlier, uh, to maybe expand that idea and bring in other opportunities to more uh, nonprofits. And uh, it's a wonderful way to kind of serve our community. Mm -hmm. So Action Through Acting this season actually has identified six particular shows. Today we're talking about The Boys Next Door. Give us some, uh, some history behind The Boys Next Door and a synopsis. Well, we have a personal history at the Manatee Players with this show. We actually produced it about six or seven years ago. Uh, it was brought to our attention by Dee and Michael Bennett, who fell in love with the play themselves and thought it would be a good fit for us. So we did a partnership with the Oslo Theater, and we produced it at the historic Oslo. I was actually the director of that show, and I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful story. It's kind of hard to describe it because it's so funny. It is a comedy, but yet it has these very dramatic, touching moments. Um, in a nutshell, it kind of follows the lives of four different adult men living in a facility. They all have their own special mental handicaps um, and challenges. And they have a caretaker named Jack who kind of is leaving for various reasons. So they're going through the, tra the traumatic loss of their uh, caretaker. And it kind of gives us little snippets into their lives and what they experience. Tom, what does it mean to your organization to be able to partner um, on a different level through live entertainment and the boys next door? Well, first of all, the whole partnering concept is huge, okay? We couldn't do any of what we do birth to senior citizens if it wasn't for partners that we work with. But this partnership in particular is exciting because what it does is it helps us highlight what's happening in our society. Adults with disabilities who are living outliving their parents, living longer, and the needs that there will be in those cases. So with hundreds of folks coming to what was Happiness House here in Manatee County for many years, and now Easter Seals, every day, we see the needs as they arise. And so when you, you see both the, the happiness, the humor, the fun, but also the very important concepts of loss and grief that they'll experience, we're preparing them through the activities we have, actual senior services at Easter Seals, but also it helps our community get a feel for what we need to be prepared for going down the road. Gina, as the Director of Marketing and Development, um, how, explain your excitement in reaching new audiences to tell them about really the programs you provide. Well, I am very excited because it is the opportunity for us to bring an awareness, as Tom said, to some of the issues facing our high school and our adults. And um, I think there's, there's just um, not always an awareness of what some of the, this population goes through to just walk through life. Um, and to provide and, and have employment opportunities and some of those things that we work with them on at Easter Seals. Whether it's life skills, whether it's employment skills, um, we work very hard to maximize the level of independence for every individual. So being able to market that, being able to broadcast out to not only our supporters, but also to those that may need services that may not be aware at all 
about what we have in our own backyard here in Manatee County to help support people who may be struggling with where do I turn, where do I get solutions. So that is such an exciting opportunity for us. Uh, Rick, walking through the process. Um, so we had Bark. Uh, we had, you know, um, we had a meeting of the minds. We said, wow, this could be so much bigger. We mm -hmm. could provide as a cultural institution an opportunity to really reach out to new community partners. Mm -hmm. And so we pick a show. Uh, we found great collaborative nonprofits, but there's still more uh, to the process. Um, tell us next in the casting process, what, what, how do we put a show together? Well, like I said, it's a, it's a long and complicated process. <laughs> we start with picking the show itself, finding the partner to kind of match that uh, specific topic that we've got. Um, we also then, we're a volunteer organization, so our actors are volunteers, so that's going to be the first thing we go to. We find uh, matching up directors, um, our designers, uh, our, our um, actors are then cast for that. Uh, then we start the process of building the sets, building the costumes. And again, we rely on our volunteers to come in and help us with that. This has not only sparked our actual on stage, but we're reaching out in other ways that uh, it's just kind of become this wonderful ball that keeps rolling. We're uh, taking our, our uh, senior theater troupe out into the schools. We're trying to tailor what they do as, um, as their group to whatever project is uh, on our stage. Uh, we're also doing talkbacks. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk about that or maybe a little bit more. Uh, each show has a, uh, a, a moment of getting the actors and uh, the directors there with the audience to kind of see how they've, their thoughts and how, and how it, they've affected that performance. The, I do know, you know, I'm excited about the community talkbacks because it provides us open dialogue in a very objective way to discuss some of the important issues that maybe uh, people only want to hear in their own homes. What are some of the most pressing issues that we have in Manatee County surrounding, you know, mental disabilities and, and how can our community get involved in telling a better story? Mm -hmm. Janet, do you want to share? Sure. Um, I will tell you the biggest challenge, I think, one of the biggest challenges is uh, employment opportunities. And we do a lot of work. We have an employment specialist on staff. We do a lot of work. We, d we do it with you all. Mm -hmm. We bring our students and some of our adults to learn what happens in your, um, in, in your office and backstage and how can they learn different skills and what their interests are and what their abilities are. And then our employment specialist works with those businesses to actually partner with them in, in having interview support and having resume building support and how do we actually get them trained and up and running in, in that new job should we find a, a fit there. Um, and it's one of the most glorious things is when you see one of our adults and our students not only get a job, but get their first paycheck. Mm. That is just the one of the most glorious moments um, and one that they are so proud to be part of. And so um, there was a study that was done by Walgreens that employed people with disabilities because the unemployment is just horrendous. Um, and they found that if they just spent a little of about $500 to just modify their work environment just a bit, that they employ someone with disabilities, they may need just a week or two longer for dealing with some of the health issues, but that that is in a loyal employee, mm. that the ROI is off the chart for longevity. So they're not spending money in recruiting and retaining. And that is a, an employee that they can count on for a long, long time. And every dollar that we invest in getting these folks employed, which is what they so desperately want, return on our community $8.60. So every dollar returns $8.60. Mm. And what we see 
is right now we've got autistic adults that are unemployed at 80% or more. Mm. Now, when you come to Easter Seals, and I want to invite everyone to come to Easter Seals, especially if you haven't been recently, you're going to see in our uh, adults in our high school, you'll see more physical uh, disabilities. In our Lily School, which is our babies to five years old, you won't see a single wheelchair. Mm. You won't see a single walker. What you will see is the result of uh, 20 years ago, one in 250 being diagnosed with autism to now one in 68. So that is a different type of disability to support as they come into their life skills and as they come into employment. Highly employable, but we need to learn how to support them. We need to educate businesses, how to engage them, and we need to find the right fit for them. And that's a tsunami for our little guys that's going to hit our high schools and our adults in, uh, in a massive way, in not very many years. So we're working to try to find a way to wrap around these services and really support them in their education and their employment viability. So it's not just training, it's truly individual skills development. Absolutely. Um, you know, I like to say Rick's uh, phenomenal at skills development. We have seen him take individuals who could not get together a straight kick line, you know, and do some phenomenal work on stage. Rick, through the process of casting for Boys Next Door, what type of development do those individuals actually have to go through mm -hmm. in order to be able to portray these characters? Well, we draw on a wide range of talents. So some people may be coming into it from, it's their first experience ever to be on stage. Some of them are professionals who've decided that, that it just doesn't work for them to try to make a professional career any longer. They've got families that, uh, or they just want to put down roots. So they've kind of transitioned to that volunteer, doing it just for fun, doing it because they love it. Some people are going back to it. They've been, um, they loved it in high school, they loved it in college, and haven't done it in a, you know, 20 years, and they want to rediscover that part of them. So you're coming from a whole multitude of skill sets. Our job is then to polish them, get them ready, and so everybody goes out on that stage feeling as good about themselves as they possibly can. So similar, you know, it's Absolutely. definitely about, you know, what can we do as you know, groups of individuals in making anyone we come in contact a better person themselves. Uh, Tom, why don't you jump on about some of the other programs that you offer, not just in physical disabilities, which might be the mindset of people who have known Easter Seals for years and years and years, but it's so much more than that. It really is, and I think uh, Janet had alluded to early intervention and the key and the return on that investment. It's those therapies, the physical therapy, the occupational therapy, uh, the speech therapy. But we, we've added in the Lilly School, and we've also added in our high school and the adult programs, is music therapy, mm. art therapy. You're bit, this year we're looking at doing a write a play program so that you can start to use the whole brain. So there are aspects of the arts that tie in heavily to the abilities of our individuals and they can really bring out the education model. That is then getting you ready for the employment model mm -hmm. because now you're fully able to integrate and meet with people and work with people so the customized employment has followed customized education. Mm. So the zero to 18 is getting stronger and stronger and so I would say think education. When you think Easter Seals, think disabilities, think education, think custom employment and then what I'd really like folks to start to see and it, you'll start to hear more about it in terms of our senior friendship type programs. Think about it as that place when folks want to retire, like we all do mm. someday, and many that will listen to this show are retired. Well, we have programs now, photography clubs, different activities within our adult programming that will be stimulating. We have a young lady, as I call her, and you're only allowed to ask their age if you ask permission. Mm. And Miss Liza has given me permission to share. <laughs> she has been at Easter Seals for over 25 years, okay? She's 74 years old. 
She comes every day, okay? Her uh, outlet is art. She loves to draw. Beautiful drawings, beautiful art. But really the magic is her smile. And the second piece of magic is the physical therapy she gets at Easter Seals, where many adults with disabilities don't get that physical therapy that is keeping her engaged, her mind active, her body able to function, albeit in a wheelchair, okay? Miss Liza is probably the best testimony of what Easter Seals of the future is. It's one of the best senior friendship centers. It's one of the best Lily schools. It's one of the best high schools. So I tell St. Stephen's, look out. Here comes the <laughs> VIP Academy. And I tell Senior Friendship, look out. And don't tell 40 carats, but we're pretty darn good in preschool too. But it's really a combination of really birth throughout life, a continuum of service. From polio in the 1950s to autism in 2015, Easter Seals is there for whatever the need is, person-centered, Manatee County, formed and based and excited to serve. Okay. You know, as the executive director at the Manatee Performing Arts Center, my goal for Action Through Acting is really to create a synergy that, you know, live theater does so much more than just entertain. And, and Rick, what is one of your personal goals that after this season's over and you look back at Action Through Acting, what do you hope that we accomplish? I hope that we've built this whole new uh, structure of community uh, that we have got a new circle of friends who uh, maybe haven't discovered our facility before, uh, that we've got a new base of patrons, uh, and we've got a new family on our side. Mm -hmm. Jana, how about yourself? I mean, this is something new. I don't believe you guys have partnered in this way before, so this is, uh, you know, how they say, untreaded ter territory, I believe. <laughs> and so what is a goal that you hope is accomplished? Well, I, I like Rick. I have we are having that awareness, that exposure for what we do right there in Braden Avenue and are able to serve our folks that need those services, make a difference in having those abilities shine as brightly as they can and uh, attract support for those services. So. Um, just to bring that awareness through this opportunity is so unique, so unique. And so that's one of the reasons that we're so excited about this, is all about the awareness of how people can plug in and make a difference. Tom, what about you? I was going to say, if I could add to that, there are a couple things I'd love for folks to, to come away with, and, and that is the opportunity to participate. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a few years back we talked a lot about wanting to be an arts friendly community to understand the economic impact and the difference that it made. I think we and particularly you all at Manatee Players have done a phenomenal job of that. Well now it's our chance to make this a disability friendly community mm -hmm. where people know what's available not just in services but in their, their ability to interact. And so as we start to look at the programs where our adults are out and involved in the community, our VIP Academy who comes up and helps set Kiwanis up every week, mm -hmm. that's important because they're involved, they're, they're interactive, but it's also very important for the Kiwanians to see firsthand people's abilities in, in play, in action. So for me, it's the opportunity for folks to, to make this disability friendly and also see the opportunities to help fund this very important aspect of, of what we do in this community. Funding for this type of program has continued to decrease from government and a lot of sources. A lot of it is because we're behind the scenes. A lot of it is because we're underrepresented. There are a lot of reasons for that. But if we look forward and we look to partnership, and the people having the opportunity. Many hands truly do make light work. Folks love the theater. They also love to help people. And so as they do that, in one of the most philanthropic areas in the country, we'll have that opportunity for folks to go, oh, that's a great arts program down at Easter Seals. Let me help support that. Mm -hmm. That's a great arts uh, program through the Manatee Players for adults and or high school kids with disabilities. Let me support that. So I encourage this to be an opportunity for folks to go, ah, another opportunity to participate both individually and philanthropically in our community with partners who truly respect and appreciate working together. Uh, Rick, how can some our audience members today get involved? Well, first of all, stop by the theater, take a tour, uh, get to meet the staff, get to meet the front of the house. Hannah Pearson would love to 
get you uh, signed up to become a volunteer. And we have a position available for whatever talent you would like to bring. Uh, we will make use of that. Uh, I think that's the easiest way. Um, I would also say to uh, come to these productions, support by buying a ticket. That not only helps us, it helps the, the, uh, the mm -hmm. companies that we're partnering with. So it's a great way to get involved. Uh, that's a great place to start. Get yourself in the theater, see what we're doing, see what these wonderful other organizations are, are achieving, and uh, get involved. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, what an opportunity, because uh, something special about every night that the boys next door is actually being presented is that you will have a table for information and somebody manning it to answer questions of audience members about programs. Uh, what are some of the materials that people will be able to have there to be able to take home with them to tell them about Easter Seals? Jana? We have a packet of information that we'll have available, um, but one of the special uh, little surprises we're planning is to bring these wonderful collages that showcase the pictures of some of our high schoolers and our individuals that ODA partnered with us to create. They're beautiful. And they say a little bit about uh, something about each person that they partnered with and they spent time with. So uh, people will be able to see that. They'll be able to meet some of the people that we serve. They'll be able to see some of our organic herbs that we grow right on our campus and see some of the artwork. So we're planning to bring, uh, and you so graciously invited us to have at it at the lobby, in the lobby. So we're, we're gonna take full advantage of it and really be able to give them some material to walk away that tells us how they can, tells them how they can get involved um, and where they may fit in, but then uh, really see some of, of the support that we've had and some of the partners that we've had, we have and uh, how special it is. Well, we're going to shortly be running out of time. Um, so at this time, let me go around the table and, and give some final words and you know what you really want this audience who's watching us today um, to leave with the importance of action through acting through your own thought process. So Tom, I'll start with you. Well, I think uh, what I'd love folks to leave with is the concept that uh, we are working very well together to make a difference for everybody in our community, that all abilities shine when they uh, come to Manatee Players, however your, whatever your acting ability and all the neat things that you enable people to participate in is, is pretty darn special and also at Easter Seals and many of the other organizations that you'll be highlighting in the upcoming segments because those are also great organizations doing great work that truly round out an amazing place to live. We really do live in paradise and we have a lot to be thankful for so I just love folks to know that, uh, that we're coming together even stronger even better and uh, to, to look forward to increased partnerships in the future. Hey, Jana? I'm gonna speak for both of our organizations, Janine, and say that there's a wonderful opportunity for our supporters to maximize their giving during the Giving Challenge. Mm -hmm. For every new donor, uh, our, the Community Foundation of Sarasota, the Patterson Foundation and their partners are going to match up to $250. And then speaking for Easter Seals, we also have another benefactor who's going to match that as well. So we're really excited about taking a $25 or a $50 gift and being able to multiply that times three and provide children's therapy, that there's just no better return on an investment there. And I'm sure you feel the same way with Manatee Players. It's just an unbelievable opportunity that our nonprofit community has. Absolutely. It's incredible. September and, 1st and uh, through mm -hmm. September 2nd, just 24 hour giving. Yes. Um, and if you do, the wonderful thing is, is if you look up the Manatee Players, mm -hmm. you will see listed as a program is Action Through Acting. That's awesome. And so our hope and goal is, is that people will get engaged to give so that not just this year, but I know that Rick is already looking towards next year to see how can we continue mm -hmm. this and build upon what we're creating and grow, you know, the community's education mm -hmm. of social awareness issues that we combat on a daily basis. So Rick, some words from you. 
I'm going to share a story. So um, we do have uh, the Easter Seal students who deal help us out rare, uh, occasionally at the theater, and their keeper caretaker um, took a videotape of the movie of Boys Next Door and showed it to his students. And he came back and he goes, I thought I was going to have to make this a multi, uh, sort of break it down for them, explain as we went. He said they got it. Mm -hmm. One time through, they got it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was such a lovely way to kick off our partnership wow, together. That's great. Now, the Boys Next Door is running September 10th through the 27th. Uh, tickets are just $26. And so we're excited because it really provides everybody, we hope, the opportunity to come and enjoy live entertainment. But also with the Boys Next Door, uh, we hope that you as audience members will go to our website, manatiepeformingartscenter.com, and get involved in the community forums that we spoke about. Or join a book club um, as we move forward through action, through acting. Uh, we've got other shows coming up, like Bark the Musical that Rick spoke about, The Miracle Worker, The Diary of Anne Frank. Uh, we're going to end the season with To Kill a Mockingbird. And, and so there's a lot of excitement around the theater, and there's excitement with our community partners that we have uh, you know, created synergy. Now we're hoping that that overflows to the community at large. So I want to thank you for joining me today um, on a special edition of Action Through Acting. Remember, you too can get involved. All the information is at manatiepeformingartcenter.com. And thank you.